In this video, I'm gonna point out the mistakes that slow so many people down with their property journey. This is something that you can implement as soon as you finish this video because it really is that simple. So here's one trick that will guarantee you more deals in the future. Drum roll, please. Make offers on everything. I mean, why would you not? Why would you go on a view and spend your time and not get anything out of it? I see this time and time again and it's madness. Now, you will not want every property that you go and view. That's fine. It's understandable. I was the same. However, you can sell deals on. You can get great deals that you didn't really want, but at the end of the day, if the property comes to you cheap enough, then you can make it work. So even if the offer is crazy low, put it in. And this goes for rental deals, it goes for development deals, it goes for BRR deals. It does not matter what the type of deal is. If you go on a viewing, you should be making an offer. It is that simple. Now, why do we do this? One, when you make an offer with an estate agent or with a landlord, you cement that you are interested. Now, specifically with estate agents, they will then log on their system that you have made an offer. So even if it gets rejected and they go on to accept another offer from somebody else, they go through the mortgage process. Remember, one in three properties fall through, okay? So let's assume that the offer you made was 50% lower than what they wanted. They accepted a different deal. Two months later down the line, that property's fallen through. The minute you want to sell your property, the minute you check out of it mentally, okay? And this is the fundamental key behind all of this. You are motivated to want to leave that property. You no longer care about the property you're in. You're living the life already of the new environment you're gonna be in. This happens for us all. You know, anything that we acquire, if we then want rid of it and we want something new, we're not bothered by it. We mentally check out. That means they become motivated as hell once they've had an offer fall through. So they're in a position where they've got this dream life planned out, they're moving to a better house, they're upgrading, they're getting rid of the debt that's causing them so much issues. Whatever the situation might be, they're moving on. Then all of a sudden the big whammy comes that unfortunately you can't because the sale's fallen through. So what do they do? They go back to the agent. What does the agent do? He goes back to his system to find out how can I rectify this deal? I need my commission. So they then pick up the phone to whoever has logged an offer and says, we've had this fall through. Is there any chance you can make us an, an improved offer? No. Or you might say yes, depending on where you're at at that time. You might give them an extra grand or two to get the deal over the line. But one thing's for sure is they're going to be motivated to want to accept your offer and move quickly, especially if you're a cash buyer or an investor that can move within two to three weeks. They're going to snap your hand off. I've had so many deals like this, and this is the same for the rentals as well. You go and see a property, landlord wants more money. It's fine. Check in two weeks later, still hasn't rented, he's more motivated. Check in four weeks later, he's even more motivated. He might have had a few problems about how you wanted to run the property initially, but as his bank balance starts to reduce because he's not getting any revenue in, having to pay all the bills out, I guarantee he's become more and more motivated to actually just get rent in that place rather than worrying about how the operation of the place is gonna be. So we have to make sure we lodge our interest. And that is the simplest way to pick up more deals across the year without trying. Make sure you make offers on every single property that you go and view and just sit back and let the results happen. I guarantee you, if you're viewing five to 10 properties a week, you will pick up five deals like this across the year that are 35, 40% below market value, or you're getting rents that are 100, 200, 300 pounds below market value just by being in the game because you made an offer initially. Now you know this simple trick, head over to our other YouTube video, which shows you how to find the best deals on Rightmove.